How's it going guys? My name is Tavares and today we are returning to the ultimate daily driver build my Mercedes-Benz S500. Well, it has certainly been a while with this car. Uh, I know I've been away for the holidays and, uh, you know, giving you guys videos that aren't necessarily car related, but I am back. So, a uh, little bit of a backstory. I haven't really driven this car all that much. Uh, I drove my my dually over there and uh, Aston Martin a little bit. But right now, we're gonna be working on this thing. And what I'm gonna do is just give it a little bit of an update. I'm not gonna do anything major, but I'm going to be giving it a feature that it never came with and no Mercedes W220 ever came with. And that is a rear view camera. Now I know that there are some kits that uh, you can put into cars and you know they, they're like aftermarket and they go in the the rear view mirror or something i want this to be absolutely oem or at least oem looking because oem never came with this option so the idea will be that this the stock screen that i upgraded this is the 03 screen and the car is from 2000 the stock screen is going to display a rear view camera when i put it into reverse so hopefully this works out I'm not quite sure if uh, this will. This is an experiment. It's not been confirmed by anywhere on the internet, but I have a feeling that we can get it to work. So uh, first thing we have to do is remove this entire thing. All right, the unit is out of the car, and I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna put a rear view camera input onto this. Now, this doesn't have one stock, and there's actually no way to input it. Uh, there's no like auxiliary input uh, from the back, or uh, even, I can't really hardwire one like I did with an audio input. But, I did buy this one thing, and it's called, I don't know if you can see it, it's called the Universal RGB Converter. LE and this is version 3.1 and this has a ribbon cable and a little circuit board that uh, will install into here. Well, hopefully we'll install into here because these were uh, for the 2004 and up model and those had a different audio bus. I think they had a, uh, a most audio bus and this is a D2B. Getting a little technical here, but uh, this, it's not really meant for this. This is an 03, and this is sort of a, a weird in-between year when they had the uh, this widescreen navigation display, but they didn't have the newer widescreen navigation display. So this might work, this might not. I had to get this from Eastern Europe. I'm not sure what country I ordered it from, but it's somewhere in Eastern Europe. So uh, it costs around 250 bucks, which is an expensive gamble. Uh, yeah, I know, but I think that it's gonna, it, it's gonna make the car a bit more uh, drivable and livable day to day, especially if it's a Mercedes S-Class and everything works like it's supposed to uh, stock. This doesn't just have a, an input for a camera. This also has a bunch of different inputs. So if I wanted to, let's say, put in something that, I don't know, mirrors my phone, like an HDMI to RCA converter, and then mirrors my phone so I can have Google Maps in here, that can also be done. And I can do that by, I don't know if I'm gonna do, do this right now, because uh, this is gonna be another project in itself, but here, this used to be a button for the TV in Europe. It does function as a button, and I do know that you can solder on a connection in the back of this, to, uh, to do basically like a little, uh, a little dip switch for, uh, for this unit. So maybe I'll get to do that. But for now, I'm going to take this apart and just install this. I don't think I'm gonna have to solder anything or uh, like crimp or, or anything. This should be a very, very plug and play solution. But uh, who knows, because there's an extra harness here. I don't know what this is for. This might, oh. This is probably power and ground for, uh, for the unit itself, but let's see if we can't get this in here.
Okay, so I have run into potentially a major problem. Now, this is the LCD um, ribbon cable that uh, comes out of the monitor and goes right into the board. What I'm supposed to do is take this, uh, take this off and put this LCD uh, ribbon cable and then connect that to a, let me see where, well, there's a, there's a board somewhere in there. Oh, right here. So this is, this is the board you see right here. It says, yeah, it says uh, LCD bottom. It's basically LCD in and out. <sighs> the problem is that this, this ribbon cable and this ribbon cable, while they are similar, the new one has two less pins than the old one. You can see as I overlap them, the old one is slightly bigger. And while I can probably take a chance and put this one in and see if it works, I honestly have no idea. Like this seems like it's very um, sensitive electronics and I don't want to end up having to buy a new head unit because that's going to be a pain in the ass. So I think uh, that this isn't gonna work. So I'm, I'm really bummed out. I'm really bummed out because I wanted this to work. I bought the backup camera. I bought, uh, bought this. This was not cheap. And yeah, I guess it, uh, it doesn't work. Well, that's, uh, that's how you learn. I guess the only thing I have left to do right now is just put everything back and this, oh my God, this is just a giant waste of time. Hopefully I can return this. I, I doubt it. I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what Croatia has as far as a return policy, but I, I can't imagine that it's good. <sighs> well guys, sorry we couldn't do anything today. I really, really am bummed that uh, I couldn't get this to work, but uh, next time I will be doing something. I'm not gonna leave you hanging uh, like, like I usually do, uh, but next time I will be doing something really sort of radical uh, on this car because I did get the vinyl wrap for the car and I will be doing uh, some some much needed uh, maintenance and modification to this car. So these episodes will be coming out uh, as a series. So I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to have too many uh, things in between, but I wanna get this done as fast as possible, especially, you know, since I wanna drive it. I, 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 I sort of miss the car, you know, and I do wanna drive it. And I am driving to, uh, to New Jersey in a few weeks but uh, I'm not sure which car I'm gonna take. Hopefully I can get this one done in time. As always guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, I dislike this video because I couldn't get any of this crap to work. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. Uh, I can't stop you. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. You guys have been really, really good at doing that, that sort of stuff. And uh, 26,000 people, that's, that's a lot. It's a lot of people guys. But uh, we can get that number higher. I, I, I believe in you, and uh, I believe uh, that we can do it. But, um, yeah. Next time will be fun, though, because that's when...